The attic itself, I want it to be like a two-bedroom apartment that in the future, I mean, if, in case one of my son want to stay, they can use a space up there because you have their own pantry, living room and dining room with patio and balcony. The favourite part of my attic, I would say, is the, uh, the patio which I look out into the greenery, which is uh, very beautiful, very serene and very peaceful. In choosing a home, the serenity and the quietness is very important to me. I choose this piece of land because this area is very quiet at night. Even in the daytime, there's not so many cars passing by. There's an MRT which is about five, six hundred meters. The children can just walk out to the MRT and there's a hawker centre and a market nearby too. I stay in this house with my wife and two sons and my dad occasionally will come by because I have a room for him and my mum. I was looking at many architects actually. And one key reason why I chose RT and Q because their response was very fast. And within two weeks, I think, he came up with some design and plan and everything. Because the land is not so regular, I want to make sure that the space inside is regular, squarish and usable, which I think they come up with a pretty good design. And I wanted to have a long lap pool. That is one of the main requests to them, to have a long lap pool for me to exercise and swim. Yeah. This plot of land is a little awkwardly shaped, so when we came on board, we thought that it would be good to design a house with both a front garden and a rear garden. And then we inserted the house in between the two gardens. The house is also on slightly elevated land, so when you come in, you will pass through the Moongate portal, and then you are accompanied by a long linear water feature that guides you into the house both visually and orally and then the water feature accompanies you as you enter through the entrance foyer. So we designed the water feature to bring the user from outside into the house so that the landscaping is integrated into the architecture. We call it the House of Portals because we see it as a procession of uh, framing views and experiences as you go through the house. We designed the house such that every space has its own character and a different view, such that as you go through every room, the spatial experience is different. The family has always been very clear about wanting to have a study where the wife can work alongside both her sons. We like the idea of a pre-plan where there are no dead end spaces. You can seamlessly make one round from the living room all through the study and then back out again. I think the reason why the study room was located near to the pool was to also offer some kind of visual connection to water, to provide some kind of relaxing qualities when you study, and also to take your mind off work. The pool is located at the longest end of the site because of the owner's request to not just have a water feature but also a lap pool where he can exercise daily as part of his morning routine and as well as privacy, he wanted to be able to walk directly from his pool into his master bedroom. So from the master suite, one would find a spiral staircase leading directly down to the pool which will allow the owner and his wife to have private access directly without having to pass through the public areas of the house. We came up with the spiral staircase also because the spiral staircase has a bit of a sculptural quality. The spiral staircase is very useful to me because every morning I can have direct access to come down to my pool without walking through my living or dining room. Every morning I'll do about half an hour of swimming on my lap pool. The length of the whole place is 32, but the pool itself probably is about 25 meters. The master suite was actually designed to be almost standalone from the rest of the house. So if you enter the second storey from the main staircase lobby, you cross a bridge into the master suite. We tried using glass and also perforated materials to make it feel lighter, despite the owner having like objections to some of the materials like glass for modesty reasons. We decided uh, to go ahead also because we managed to convince him that combining two materials will actually provide a solution to his concerns. The house is a quite rectilinear, so we wanted to inject some curves and one of the ways we did that was to create a circular vanity for the master bathroom. 
The master bathroom was designed with a circular vanity area and because one of the things that we are influenced by in our design is Baroque architecture because Baroque architecture actually not only defines space, it shapes the space and the shape of a space will affect your experience of the architecture. To add a bit of personal touch into the bathrooms, the wife actually handpicked some of the materials to reflect her more fun personality. So you will see that the materials in the powder room are quite loud. The design of the powder room was actually inspired by the cabins in ships because it's a very tight, confined space. So we designed the shower as a curved oval space to mitigate that tightness that you feel. I have two kitchens because the wet kitchen is used mainly by my son. He loves to cook and make steak and everything. And he requests for industrial look-alike kitchen and big. The kitchen was a very important component. The son, as the project developed, he also came into the picture in order to decide what sort of appliances and the layout of the kitchen such that it would suit his cooking style. The dining area was designed at that corner of the house so that it would be good for hosting guests and dinner parties. And it's a very nice private space away from the rest of the house. I like this dining area because I feel that it's more cosy and uh, secluded and I can have a nice view of the greeneries and the pool and the jacuzzi right in front of me if I want to take a dip. In my dining area, I have this painting. My uh, sister-in-law, she's an artist from Malaysia, and she uh, gave it as a gift to us. I wanted her to paint something uh, abstract, and uh, I guess she make it orangey because to match my uh, dining light. I don't have too much uh, painting or decoration because I like my house to be simple and minimalist. The attic has been designed to function as a self-contained two-bedroom apartment in future should one of the sons decide to get married and stay on with his parents after that. So for now, the living room in the attic functions as an entertainment room for the whole family to enjoy as well as for the sons to entertain their friends as and when they want to host a party. The unique selling point of the attic is the view beyond the lush greenery where you can see not just the immediate vicinity, but also to the taller skyscrapers beyond. I think home is where you have a safe space and also enjoy privacy, because to me, privacy is the ultimate luxury. The favourite part of my attic, I would say, is the uh, patio, which I look out into the greenery. Very beautiful, very serene and very peaceful. In choosing a home, the serenity and the quietness is very important to me. A home to me is a family and when everybody is happy, I'm happy and I'm home. I think all of us are very settled down, very happy with this place.